Welcome to the RH-134 System Administration 2 course. The suggested prerequisite for this course is the RH-124 System Administration 1 course, where you learned some fundamental tasks necessary to understand system administration. In this course, the System Administration 2 course, you'll be applying that to tasks that are more specific to enterprise management needs. Things like uh, learning how to do advanced security of file systems, how to create logical volumes, understanding how to do process prioritization, working with advanced file editing, uh, logical volume manager, troubleshooting the system boot process. Same as before, until you write those changes to the disk label, it's just in memory. So you do a W to write it back and, and overwrite the partition table. And again, tell the kernel about it with part probe and now you're running with one less partition. You've thrown that partition away. To make GPT compatible with existing machines that, that have used MBR or to allow an MBR, to allow you to be able to possibly move back and forth, you know, to convert back to an MBR if there was a reason for it, GPT leaves the first part up here open, marks it as in use, you know, what they call a protective MBR so that um, any structure from an MBR would be, you know, not just, overwritten. We'll echo true into proc sys kernel sys request. So that turns on the uh, trigger capability. And now let's go for trigger. Now like before, as soon as I trigger this, I'm going to get the system to dump And once the system finishes dumping and comes back up, we'll be able to check for the existence of the file that was created.